Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about energy activators, one of the most important items in the game alongside with the crystallization catalyst. This is an item that will increase your max um, uh, capacity of your descendants. Boy, and um, with having an energy activator using count, you get the max capacity up and you have your module. For example, one step attack module or maneuver uh, module, you can get your capacity of your descendants to 80. One of the most important items right now, you need basically at least one for most of the descendants that you want to play. I will show you in this video how you can farm the different materials step by step. I'll also have ta timestamps in the video so if you know certain materials how to grind but just want to look at the specific one you can use the timestamps below in the video very first one there's only one spot you can grind these and this is the uh, kingston mission fallen theater vogus outpost go to kingston and you're looking for this mission over here you teleport now this is similar to uh, the catalyst grind uh, those missions have a four minute timer there is an exploit how you can grind this mission and uh, you know break the mission basically uh, in one minute there is actually going to be a mission i'm not going to show you the exploit because i am against exploits like this where you can basically exploit the system and kill the boss over and over again and though what people do is they stand over here on the edge, which basically, I'm, I'm just going to talk about it. I'm not going to do it today, but I'm going to talk about it while I wait here for the mission to spawn. People stay on this edge and this edge and this wall basically uh, acts like a wall of this spot itself. And everything beyond this, outside of this, is basically considered outside of the mission area. And what they do over here is they blow up, they blow up all the um, containers. So there's one container, two containers, three containers. You need to blow up those three containers to trigger the white yellow elite spawn, right? Here we go. We have the mission um, and out of zone, you enter, you basically they enter and re-enter just by moving a, a tiny bit. This triggers multiple spawns of the boss of the elite that you need to kill for this material um and it it's an exploit guys it's this is not meant to be done like this here is the lead um i highly recommend you don't do this because you never know you might get banned for stuff like this um so just do it the regular way as you can see i just got 18 low carbon uh over here now to speed up the, the grind for this material, if you want to be a little bit more efficient, if you don't want to wait all the four minutes over and over and over again, what you can do is just simply port out, port to the next zone, port back to this zone and check if the timer is better for you. It might be less than a minute for it to spawn or it might be spawned and no one killed it yet. I highly doubt this because this is actually a very popular spot. People know to grind this and they're grinding this all the time all right so and to grind the foils to get these you need to open vaults in vespers i jump between two locations one of them is this way waypoint over here and i run run down over here to this area i will show you right now in this uh, section of the video and the other section that i jump between is the lumber yard over here next to the lumber yard in this area that might be a vault now when you teleport to the waypoints you open up your signal, you check if there is any sounds right now. Usually in this area right away, you don't hear anything. But I already hear the beep. That means that in this uh, in this location, if I just run forward towards a specific cave, in the cave over there, towards this location, you can always, most of the times, whoops, hello, hello. Almost didn't notice him. Um, here, here it is. Um, like I said, I highly recommend you do this with Enzo because as you can see, this is a really easy peasy open with Enzo. And let me see if there is more. You also look for those symbols. If there is a symbol, that means that uh, usually in this area there might be more. Right now, I don't hear any more sounds. That means that, oh, actually we do hear one. So there might be one more over here in in this area not to the left to the right 
So we go towards this waterfall. And... We just start looking around. And there is one more bolt. Just fell. There is one more bolt over here. Behind the waterfall. Uh, and... Yeah, this is how you open up um, and get the foils. Pretty straightforward. It's an easy grind. Let me show you the other location. Oh, we got some Kuiper and we got nine foils. Let's let's jump down here to Lumber Yard and check out the location over there. We might get lucky and find another vault as well. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You just go um, and that's it. First thing you jump is you turn around towards this. So looking towards the lumber yard. And if you hear the sound, that means that up here somewhere there will be our favorite vault. Usually they're up here. And there you go. Here's our bad boy. Let me open up this one as well. One shot. And we got 23k Piper and foils. And in a matter of, as you can see, a couple minutes, I just got a bunch of foils. This is how you grind them. All right, let me show you heat plasma battery. This is actually one of the easier grinds. Uh, it is actually very easy to obtain. Both methods take around two minutes to grind. Um, the quickest way is to, be, when you are in Albion, the terminal on the left side, um, I usually do hard mode. And from here you can start the mission. So you can do old mystery and you show you can do the Haven. I'm going to show you both missions, how to run them. They're pretty easy. Private operation. Um, and you don't use any other modifiers. You just enter the mission. There is a timer before the mission starts. And I'll show you where you need to go, what you need to do in order to trigger the first elite. There's really nothing to worry about. Here's the wall that you need to wait. It's literally a couple seconds. And right now I am exactly at three minutes of the video. So let's see how, how long will it take me to get to the elite and kill it. Now, like I said, this is one of the mission. This is the mission that is a little bit slower, but still you can mix it up if you get tired of doing the, the same mission over and over again. Here you need to just go and run through those lasers, nothing too fancy. And what you need to do in this one is you need to kill the mobs that are being spawned here. And once you kill the mobs, you, you can see the count on top over there. Um, you can kill the devices over there. And once you kill the devices, um, you spawn the next wave of mobs and basically after killing the second wave you are able right, this guy doesn't want to die you blow up this one you run kill the, the rest of the mobs to trigger more waves and after the second device the elite spawns which we need to kill this is our main objective on grinding this material and the quicker you kill the mouse the quicker you get the elite all right one more mob you blow up the device and our elite is here somewhere nope. we're looking for um the yellow bar elite oh we got a ultra precision code breaker very nice oh there you go Th that's our guy and this was exactly two minutes so that's a two minute grind i got 13 heat plasma batteries what you do next is you go back to albion you reset the mission go back and do this mission over and over here again you start your private yep. mission now, if you really want to, you can complete this mission and go for grinding the mods and, and the amorphous materials and stuff like this. 
it's up to you but if you're specifically just grinding for the material and you want to be um optimal in this grind you just go for for this in this mission you need to jump up here it doesn't go forward and just you don't have to kill absolutely everything down the road you just need to um go through the green dot and follow the green dot that means that you trigger the next stage of the mission and we're looking for a specific stage over here those guys are just dying from my aoe which is great that's why we love bunny right this is the tricky part right And here is the place where we get the um, the missions, the, the elite spawn, but it is a little bit slower because in here you need to capture six zones and the elite spawns around the fourth captured zone. Right? So you need to be in here. Maybe this will be a little bit more efficient if you are in a group. If you want to grant this material with someone in a group, then you capture all the zones a little bit quicker. And this could be actually a little bit faster than the other method, which is in the Haven. Right? But it's still pretty quick as well. So there you have the two options to grind the batteries. There's our lead. We don't even have to capture anymore. We kill this guy and there you go. This is our other mission. He dropped the material. Here we got 11 batteries. This is how you get the batteries. Both options are well uh, are good. Um, just speed run them. And yeah, this is probably a little bit quicker if you do it in a group because yeah, four people can capture just the four zones at the same time. All right, and, and to get the next. Uh, material which is the polyatomic iron particles it is pretty much the same thing as grinding the brains that i've showed you in the previous video uh in here you need to just run one particular mission um and this mission is called command relay it is located in the fortress you can do this both in public and private doesn't really matter um preferable way is to do it in private if you really want to uh, do this optimally, but all you have to do is again run in a circle over here and kill, kill the elites You're looking only about this these guys. Oh, what a timing I just spawned into this guy's elite and he just dropped nine particles for me This is what you need to do. You run this mission over and over again um, And yeah, just have fun. Some people are also um, you know canceling this mission uh, to run it quicker but i don't see really a point in doing this um just do the mission it takes like two to three minutes and that's it no yeah, there is it this is what you need to do to grant this material it drops from the elites pretty simple pretty straightforward good luck good luck with your drops there is one more elite going on there you go. And he also dropped particles. Perfect. All right. And now let's get to the bread and butter, to the most painful part of grinding. <sighs> of grinding this particular material and to finish up the blueprint. This is the energy activator blueprint. Now there is many, many amorphous materials that can open this. Uh, anywhere you can get them and to long, long story short you get this from killing bosses right when you kill bosses i'm gonna show you a method actually of killing the easier bosses in the game and for example this is going to be the executioner on hard mode and the grave worker on normal mode if you want to grind the easier one uh, but i'm going to show you how to get this particular amorphous material super easy super quick 
Um, and the bottleneck of this is that there is only a 6% drop chance for you to open up this material. Um, and you'll probably have to do plenty of runs of killing the bosses over and over and over again in order to get your energy activator blueprint. But in order to do this, you need to go to Kingston and do the Magister Lab uh, mission. Don't waste time again teleporting to the, to the outpost. Simply come here um, to this and click hard mode. I personally do it on hard mode. You can do it on normal. The only difference is if you do this on normal mode, if we go to the Magister's Lab, um, here, the amorphous material, as you can see, still drops, but it has a 3% drop chance if you complete this, right? Um, it's still a good one because it also includes the Glade Code. If you're looking for the Glade Code and you want to uh, grind, um, you know, Glay as a descender, absolutely go for it if you want to. But I prefer to do uh, the hard mode uh, for me because, yeah, I, you know, I enjoy more the hard mode. Now, here is an important thing. Over here on top, when you open up this over here and you want to start your mission, you can do it in private, public, doesn't matter. You can do it in a group, really doesn't matter. Over here on top, you need to change uh, the amorphous material reward because over here, uh, if you complete 100% and gather the points, and in most cases you will, uh, you will get the guaranteed amorphous material drop but number 56 doesn't have the blueprint that we're looking for so over here you just change it to 57 and once you change it to 57 over here you can just double check this is number 57 one recommendation i can give you over here uh, if you're going to be running this on hard mode put yourself a little bit of heat resistance because the final boss does a little bit of damage. Also, um, there's mobs that explode and put some lava on the ground. So if you're not very tanky, you might die, you might lose points. Make sure you get a little bit of fire resistance. This is going to help you a little bit and try to have as much as HP and defense uh, going. And let me showcase you the mission on hard mode. Let me just change the reward. Never forget to change the reward. Otherwise, you will get this. Um, I'm changing it to number 57. This is the amorphous material we want. Let me activate all those, um, you know, extra percentages. You don't have to if you complete it. And if you don't die, you will have enough points to get the guarantee amorphous material at least once. Um, you don't have to do the extra modifiers, but I'm just going to do it for... I'm going to speed up to the part uh, where I'm going to fight the, 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 you know, the mini boss in here. So yeah, let's see if, what do we get. All right, and here we are at the boss. Now, keep in mind that this boss is actually a little bit of a pain in the butt because, like I said, he does a lot of damage. And he also spawns, he shoots 
this kind of fireballs that keep on following you so you always want to be on the move and in this case bunny is actually a really good uh, option to kill him because you actually kind around him and and run around him uh, over here and i actually did this mission before without any uh fire resistance and i was actually getting hit in almost one shot right now let me let me get hit right now right now he hit me with this and it took a pretty good portion of my hp as you can see but this was still with um with the fire resistances that i have going on just try just kite him around run around this um kill the mobs because they sometimes drop hp uh, on the ground if you get in case you get hit um you have you know a panic button to heal up um he has three stages you kill him up and yeah right now Since I put on the fire resistance, this is a way easier fight uh, than without. Nonetheless, he still hits me. Run around, kite him, do your thing. Just don't get hit by the things that he is pumping. He has a pretty powerful shotgun. Uh, but as you can see, if I'm just jumping around him and using my third ability, he barely hits me. Keep in mind that those bombers drop also fire on the ground, so you don't want to go over that. This is going to melt you as well, if you don't have fire resistances. And his shotgun does really hurt. When you're done the stage, he drops here in the middle, so don't stay there, because otherwise you will get... Um, uh, it knocked down Bunny again is also a very good option because he spawns uh, the big balls on top of his head after each stage You need to kill them by just jumping in the air with your third skill You'll pretty much get rid of these and once you unlock the final phase you can hold him down um, Just keep in mind again move around so that you don't get wrecked And I got a little bit of damage in my face but we should be good to go. And goodbye, big boy. And we got two amorphous materials over here from this mission. This is because I did it with modifiers. I also had a bunch of points. I just killed every single mob. I didn't die. This is how you do it. Um, just put yourself a little bit of fire resistance, bring your damage and you should be good to go. All right, and now we need to kill, we need to kill the executioner. Now the execution is. All right, so we've killed this bad boy. Now, let me show you that the drop chances are just rigged on these. So, again, we're looking at number 57 because here we have the 6% chance to get the drop. And, nope. Nope, we don't. Uh, but this is how you get them over and over again. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, I wasn't lucky to get um, a blueprint, uh, but this is how you can grind for the Morpheus material, and this is how you, you know, the boss that you kill. You can mix it up, at, like we, like I mentioned before. You can go for different amorphous materials if you think that the particular amorphous material is rigged, and this can happen, by the way. Uh, with s some of them because I had situations where I have been grinding the same amorphous material more than 10 times in a row and I always kept getting the same item over and over again um, so if you get stuck into a loop where you see that you get the same results from killing the boss every single time I highly suggest you just switch it up and try out different amorphous materials you might get lucky um, and this might break the curse. Basically, this is the biggest bottleneck of getting the energy activators crafted. 
The rest of the materials I've showed you in this video, how you can get, they're pretty simple to get. Just work on the blueprints as much as you can, because this is the biggest bottleneck. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if I forget some, if, if I forgot something important, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to highlight your comments and I would also appreciate your support by liking this video and maybe sharing it to a friend of yours um, that might have well. See you in the next video.